Hello, during this pandemic, it's very easy to maintain physical distance while going for a drive when you live up here in the mountains. Memorial Day is coming up. Thought I would share with you where I went this past Sunday, which was to Fort Stanton, New Mexico, their cemetery, and Fort Stanton, which we'll see in just a minute, but only from the outside because of the pandemic, it's closed. This cemetery we're entering is the New Mexico State Veterans Cemetery. It was established in 2017. We're coming up on a plaque that's some garden club that helps maintain it. This is also the Merchant Marine Military Cemetery, and it is also the U.S. Public Health Service Hospital Cemetery, which was in 1899 for both of those. We will see in a little bit crosses, and I'll explain it to you. We're entering the cemetery grounds. The cemetery is open. For Memorial Day, the cemetery will put flags on all of the graves, and then they'll take them up the day after Memorial Day. I may come out here again to see that, take a few pictures, and pay my respects, as I did this past Sunday. Where we're entering here are graves of Fort Stanton veterans, veterans who live in the area who chose to be buried here at the Fort Stanton State Cemetery. And it really is a beautifully located cemetery. We're not too far from Lincoln, New Mexico. And Capitan is a little bit further away. Lincoln's to our right, Capitan's to our left. Fort Stanton, uh, from our view here, will be to the left. Look at this gorgeous sky. I wish I could share with you how good it smells, how clean everything is, how glorious it is to be up here. This uh, fort was established by the military in, I think, 1855 or so, uh, fighting the Apaches. The fort was named for Captain Henry Stanton, who was killed in a skirmish with the Apaches. I'm reading right now to you from Fort Stanton history. Let me go to here. Here are some of our veterans who are buried out here. I noticed that a lot of the men who lived through their wars, lived into their 90s. Uh, that's very unusual when you're born in the 1918s and 1920s. But of course, when you live up here in the mountains with all this glorious clean air, as you see here, fresh, health, healthy atmosphere. I'm sure they farmed, ate home good vegetables. I mean, when you live out here, you take care of yourself. And they lived long lives. This is just beautiful. We're about to pass some columbariums. That's those three buildings on your the right there they hold ashes and uh, the big white building you see to your left up ahead that's closed because of the pandemic um, so when you come out here there are no restrooms or any kind of thing to tell you about what's going on so that's what i'm going to tell you here i'm going to continue reading off of this uh, this was named again for captain henry stanton who was killed in a skirmish with the apaches the Fort Stanton was built in 1855. We're going to see that in a few few minutes. And um, it served as a military fort through 1896. And then it was turned into a tuberculous ho tubercular hospital. And 1,500 graves, which we will see on our left, are graves of merchant marines who were sent out here to recover from tuberculosis. And that was a tubercular hospital until the 1950s. It also became a U.S. public health hospital, and it also served as uh, housing German soldiers from uh, prisoners of war from World War II, and to be a refuge for Japanese Americans who were being attacked by their fellow citizens, American citizens, during World War II. And uh, it was a refuge for them. Boy. We're going to turn right now. And we'll just go down this hill. And then Fort Stanton will be to our left. It is also Fort Stanton. So, you know, when I was there and looking at it, you can't go in because it's closed because of the pandemic. But you can certainly see the buildings from the outside. And I thought... Boy, these buildings don't look much different than how people build out here these days. Well, it turns out there's a reason for that. Uh, it's been continually worked on. Uh, during the Great Depression, it was a CCC work camp. 
uh, the German merchant seamen who were with the luxury liner SS Columbus. They were interned here. Prisoners of war were interned here. They all did their own fixing it up to make it look good. And then I'm going to read right off the website. It was used during early World War II for several months as a refuge for a group of Japanese-American families threatened by mobs in their hometowns. That's pretty bad. Of course, I, I assume anybody who would watch my channel is not prejudiced. Because if you know me, you don't get very far with me if you're prejudiced. But um, with all this pandemic, don't blame Chinese people or any kind of Asian people. The blame for this pandemic is a virus. The, and the blame for the virus getting out of hand can start with communism. The Chinese have suffered greatly under communism and have suffered greatly in this pandemic. And it's thanks to brave Chinese nationals that any of us knew what was going on in Wuhan because people risked their very lives and safety to get the word out. It's very hard for them to get the word out, but there are many brave people who have been getting the word out. And I, I, if our government had just paid attention back in the back when they were first getting the word out, we would have a much better handle on this pandemic than we do right now. It's a shame what's going on. At any rate, eventually this will end. This pandemic will end, and then you can go out to Fort Stanton and actually go through the buildings and you can actually enjoy yourself out here but you can enjoy yourself right now anyway just by maintaining physical distance uh memorial day they will have flags on on uh, the graves there i may go back out again it's not too far from cloudcroft uh this is closer to rio doso it's a wonderful drive when you're leaving rio doso toward capitan on your right at some point you will see a historic marker and it will say to take a certain road out to Fort Stanton and, and I urge you to do so it's not only a beautiful drive but in a beautifully located cemetery but we owe a debt of gratitude to our veterans living and who have passed on and I love to see history anyway the history out here look at this gorgeous sky beautiful out here Memorial Day is coming up enjoy yourself when you come please maintain physical distance Please wear a face mask. In New Mexico, it is the rules to wear a face mask. We want to protect our own merchants and their employees from any kind of infection. Until a vaccine comes, the best thing we can do is keep our germs to ourselves, which is what the face mask helps do, and keep our physical distance uh, so our germs, again, stay with ourselves so we can keep everybody healthy up here. Isn't that gorgeous? To our right, eventually I need to turn left because I'm. it's late in the day and I need to head back to Cloudcroft, but we'll come up to a road pretty soon and to our right will be Lincoln. That's an historic town. To our left is Capitan and then once you drive through Capitan, you get back to Rodosa pretty quick. Soon I'll put up uh, some videos of those trips too. Bye-bye from Cloudcroft.